What is going on guys, Glitter Fairy here, and today we're opening up our second massive set of weekly crucible bounties. I currently have probably, I'd say 26, 27 uh, total bounties we're going to be opening up. Uh, two of them are the uh, higher tier trials bounties, uh, but they still do grant legendary items. So we're going to be uh, throwing those in here as well, along with uh, actually opening up any of our crucible rank up packages uh, that we get so uh, as far as what I'm hoping for I really need a really good uh, PvP rocket launcher uh, I need a pretty good PvE uh, scout rifle I've been going back and forth with a few different ones um, I don't mind the ones that I have but I would like something a little different uh, you know with only a few months left in destiny it is definitely time to start playing with some different weapons and uh, get out of the meta so I'm uh, gonna be open up these two trials bounties real quick here uh, first one's going to give me a Cobra's Vigil Bond. All right, I already got a few of those. Uh, the last one I got is actually a 98% roll, so maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe that one will be a little bit higher. And let's see, the another Burning Eyes. All right, so the Burning Eye. The Burning Eye is actually right now my go-to PvE weapon uh, for, you know, raids, whatever. Uh, this is, is what I've been using, so it is pretty good. I, I do use it a lot, uh, like I said, in the raids. Uh, but I already got two of them, so we're going to go ahead and uh, dismantle that one, uh, get those weapon parts in there. And moving on over to the, uh, let's see, weekly bounty here. Let's see what we can get. And the unbent tree. Nice. This e this is a extremely uh, high rate of fire auto rifle. Uh, currently, I'm using my, uh, my vision stone for an auto rifle. But let's check out what kind of rolls we got on this one. I might actually have to switch it up. So we got the iron red dot. Uh, that's my go-to sight. Iron warrior sight and the iron range scope. Send it. Increased range and accuracy. It's harder to handle and decreased carried ammo capacity. Uh, injection mode, you increase stability, faster handling, but reduced range. Uh, so I'd probably go send it there. Uh, single point sling, switch uh, weapons faster and move quicker while aiming. And armor piercing rounds. So uh, probably go with the armor piercing rounds actually on that one. And then we have range finder and unflinching. So we actually got uh, two range perks here. So I don't know, I might have to actually check this out. Extremely high rate of fire. It is a low impact. Probably could use a little bit more stability though with that rate of fire. But, you know, hey, we'll, uh, we'll use it a little bit on our banner this week and, and see what we can do with it. All right, next up is going to be the Cryptic Dragon. Not a huge fan of this scout rifle at all, but uh, let's check it out. Let's see what kind of rolls we get. See if it's going to be worth it. Uh, the Red Dot Aorus Range Lens RL and the Quick Draw IS. You get... Uh, Zen Moment, which is pretty good for uh, PvE. Explosive Rounds, another good PvE roll. Uh, hand Laid Stock and Field Scout along with Reactive Reloading. Reloading this weapon after kill grants a damage bonus for a short time. So, this might actually not be that bad of a PvE roll. Reactive Reload, Explosive Rounds, and Zen Moment. Uh, might have to actually compare this to my uh, my Burning Eye and see, uh, I don't know, see how it, see how it compares. So, not too bad, not too bad. I'll probably hold on to that one for a little bit. We got the Split Shifter Pro. I'm guessing that is a fusion rifle. Let's go check this out here. Not a fan of fusion rifles at all. Uh, let's see, Red Dot Aorus, Red Dot OES, and Red Dot uh, Battle Runner Snapshot. Always really good for uh, fusion rifles. Skip rounds, armor piercing rounds, and hot swap. So these two are really good here uh, for a fusion rifle. But I'm not a fan of fusion rifles. Like getting the 25 fusion rifle kills in the weekly crucible bounties, uh, I definitely just pull out my Vex and get them done that way. We got the uh, 44 curtain call again. Not a huge fan of shotguns anymore. Uh, I do have one of the original Matador 64s. Uh, that is still a god roll. Uh, I do use it uh, d to get the uh, 25 shotgun kills, uh, but. Let's see what this. See if there's a PVE roll here. Performance bonus, battle runner, reinforced barrel, quick draw, and crowd control. So not really, not really a good, uh, not really a good PVE roll. Um, so I'll probably just be dismantling that one as well. You got the Breton Mart stand. Let's check out this thing. Um, don't really use heavy machine guns too much. I do use them in the raids, uh, but for the most part, I, I stick with uh, rocket launchers. Uh, Gorilla Fighter, High Caliber Rounds, Hand Laid Stock, Rifled Barrel, and Persistence. So, I don't know. It doesn't seem that good. Like I said, I'm not a huge machine gun fan. 
Uh, so it's kind of hard to compare some, you know, some of the god rolls on those. Got a uh, oh Matador sixty four. Let's check out this. Let's see if this can compare to my other one. And it does have its rangefinder perk right off the bat. Uh, performance bonus, hammer forged, injection mold, hand laid stock, and rangefinder. So it actually does have uh, the two range perks. Uh, but yeah, performance bonus kills with this weapon have a chance to grant bonus reserve ammo. I don't know, that might not be too bad. I might actually, I might actually have to compare this uh, to my current Matador 64 and see. Might be playing around with that one a little bit as well. And the Ill Will, let's see. I do have a, let's see, this, there's the Ill Will I have right now. I need to upgrade this thing. Uh, it does have luck in the chamber. Uh, this new one does not. True Shot IS, Sure Shot IS, there you go. Uh, and Quick Draw IS, Sure Shot's definitely um, one of my favorite sites for the hand cannon. Uh, we got rangefinder here, snapshot, explosive rounds, and rifled barrel. So two range perks on that. That's crazy. And reactive reloading. Um, I don't know. Rate of fire is uh, pretty low, high impact, pretty good range though. And of course, let's go check out. Let's see. We got a rank up here uh, with Lord Shax. Let's see what we got. And get us another crucible weapons. And we got the Satyrian Reaper. So. See if this thing is any good here. And let's see, we got Red Dot OAS, Range Lens RLR5, and True Shot with Icarus. Uh, Icarus, I don't really like Icarus for uh, scout rifles. It's pretty good for hand cannons, but not really for scout rifles too much. Perfect Balance, Feather Mag, Oiled Frame, and Grenadier. So, mm, yeah, no, not really looking all that good there. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. I don't like to keep too many weapons. Uh, and start confusing them with other ones. So uh, that's that's that pretty much is it for the Warlock. I'm gonna go ahead here and jump on my Titan next and uh, open up a few bounties from him. All right, and now we are over on our Titan. I currently have about seven bounties on him, but I just noticed Lord Shax is uh, ready for a rank up. So let's go ahead and knock this out here. Uh, Crucible weapons, we get the another Satyrian Reaper, nice. Uh, let's check this one out. Let's see if this one is, uh, is any better than the last one? Uh, let's see, we got crowd control, field scout, hand laid stock, and small bore with third eye. So, uh, not really a PVE or PVP role there. So, let's go ahead and get rid of that as well. Uh, and, like I said, this is my raid setup the, uh, the Burning Eye, Event Horizon, and the Sleeper Stimulant. So, uh, that's my go to. Let's check out first bound here. Got. Steel Oracle. All right, let's see if we can get a uh, a pretty good PvP roll here. Nope. High blast radius with low velocity. So I already know this thing is not going to be that good. Uh, let's see if we get anything though. Army of One, fitted stock, heavy payload, and javelin with tracking. So I mean, tracking is good. I do like that for PvP, but I would rather have a extremely high velocity with tracking uh, than a high blast radius for tracking. All right, next bounty is gonna be Shinobu's Vows. Nice, I already have the Shinobu's Vows, so I can just go ahead and uh, get rid of those there. That way I do not have uh, you know, anything go to my Postmaster here. Let's check out the next bounty we got. The Hexcaster Arc. Let's see, let's see if this thing is any good here. I don't have any really good auto rifles besides uh, my Trials. Uh, we got Red Dot OAS, Steady Hand IS, and Focus Lens with Outlaw, Fitted Stock, Appended Magazine, Rifled Barrel, not too bad for a uh, for an auto rifle, and Life Support. So we're kind of missing two perks here, though. I really want to have more stability uh, if I have that high rate of fire there. All right, next one is going to be the Colivan's Duty. This thing is actually pretty nice. I've used this a few different times. Uh, let's see if this one has any good rolls, though. Uh, we got Last Resort, which is a definitely a PvP roll. Uh, perfect Balance, Hand Laid Stock, Oiled Frame, and Outlaw. So, yeah, probably going to be getting rid of this as well. It does have pretty high stability here, uh, which is pretty nice, but it, it's, not really, uh, it's not really what I'm looking for in a Scout Rifle. Okay, all right, get the Ash Raven's Flight. It's not a, uh, not a bad... Uh, fusion rifle off the bat. You got spray and play, 
enhanced battery, skip rounds, accelerated coils, and hot swaps. We do have a uh, hot swap. Uh, yeah, spray and play, not too good. I mean, mag is empty. Yeah, <laughs> your mag's almost always empty in PvP. Um, let's see. Yeah, really not seeing anything I like here. Like I said, the, uh, the Vex is, is my go-to for fusion rifle kills now in Crucible. Uh, it's not the greatest fusion rifle, but it is probably one of the uh, the easier ones to use uh, whenever you uh, are trying to rack up those 25 kills. So, next bounty here is going to be the Unending Deluge 3. Let's check out. Let's see if there is any good rolls on this machine gun. You've got uh, counterbalance, high caliber rounds, injection mold, armor piercing rounds, and surplus. So, um, not going to be a very good roll there for pvp uh, as far as pve goes the probably one of the uh you know best machine guns in my opinion is the uh, the harrowed so you definitely want to get one of those uh you know being able to uh, have that ammo uh, automatically reload uh when it's stowed away for a short time definitely makes all the difference in the world uh you get the dangerous retort i don't think i've ever uh, actually use this thing so it is an iron banner shotgun uh, linear compensator field choke and soft ballistics uh, no accurized ballistics though you got army of one fitted stock oiled frame small bore and performance bonus so I think we're gonna be getting rid of this as well I'm really not in the market right now for a shotgun I really like I said I, I really want a, a better scout rifle uh, a better rocket launcher so that is uh that's about it for the titan uh let's see what we got our, on our rank up from lord shacks here and each new day again another fusion rifle probably gonna be just dismantling this as well uh knee pads uh icarus brace frame enhanced and range finder so range finder's not too bad but really would like to have uh some sort of uh hot swapper or something else there yeah, right now, I'm really, like I said, not a huge fan of fusion rifles. It's really hard for me to uh, to, to find a fusion rifle uh, that I would consider a god roll, considering, like I said, the, the Vex is definitely my go-to. So let's go ahead and jump over here on my Hunter and pick up these last, I think I got nine or ten bounties on him as well. All right, and last but not least, we're on the Hunter. Probably, like I said, I got about nine or ten bounties on this one as well. So we're going to go ahead and open up this uh, crucible rank package here let me see uh, if I can start off with anything good I uh, got these zombie apocalypse so let's go check out this down here I uh, got counterbalance speed reload brace frame armor piercing rounds and grenadier so does not look too good here let's go ahead and uh, dismantle that I uh, don't want to be taking up too much room here don't want like I said don't want anything going to the postmaster so uh, gonna be jumping over on and let's see we got cryptic dragon another cryptic dragon seems like we're getting a, a lot of scout rifles today uh, crowd control high caliber rounds hand laid stock field scout and reactive reload so again with another cryptic dragon that doesn't look like it would be too bad of a pve roll crowd control reactive reload and let's see, I could probably go with Field Scout, Hand Laid Stocks. All, pretty much all three of these are not too bad um, for PvE. So might have to be uh, comparing that one to the last uh, Cryptic Dragon I got and see which one I want to go with. Uh, I got the 2020 AMR. Let's see if we have any uh, good rolls on this one as well. I don't know why I got all these blue Ingrams here. All right, we got Eagle Eye, Long View, and Taxis. So we're missing Short Gaze, which is my go-to for sniper rifles. Um, not very good at sniping, so the Short Gaze is, is probably one of the easier scopes to handle, in my opinion. Uh, you have Take a Knee, Skip Rounds, Snapshot, always pretty good for a sniper rifle. Small Bore, and Hidden Hand, and again, another really good perk for a sniper rifle. So Hidden Hand, Snapshot not a huge fan of uh of crouching in crucible so take a knee probably wouldn't do be very good and it's missing the short gaze so uh again just not having the sight alone is going to cause me to dismantle that one as well all right next one is the service regime nice this is like a go-to auto rifle for a lot of people uh me personally i am not a fan of it 
What I am a fan of, though, is the, the Basilix Glory. I don't know if you guys have seen this, but to me, that is just an amazing looking uh, ornament there. Like, I don't know, that, that just looks really good. Looks a lot better than the Red Memorial. Uh, but the service regime, uh, even though it was the first ever exotic I ever got, it is not my go-to uh, auto rifle anymore. All right, next up is the Havoc Pigeon. I don't know, I don't know if anything can compare uh, to the Wormwood that Future War Cult is selling this week, but let's check it out anyways. Uh, we do have True Shot. Rangefinder, nice outlaw, snapshot, high caliber rounds, and a pendant magazine. So I don't know. I might actually have to compare this. It does have the rangefinder. It has the stability. It has the rate of fire. Seems like it has the impact. It is missing the range here, but we do have rangefinder, and I'd probably go with snapshot here as well too. So it's probably not going to outdo my wormwood, but uh, I'll still have to uh, compare it and see. We got the uh, Zero Day Dilemma, this is another auto rifle. Uh, let's see if it's gonna be anything good here. You got Focus Fire, uh, which is, I like Focus Fire. Uh, perfect Balance, Appended Magazine, and Counterbalance. So actually not too bad here. You got two stability perks. Um, it's a decent rate of fire with its impact. This is the kind of uh, auto rifle I do like to go with. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be enough stability though. I don't know, we might have to try it out. I did get a pretty decent unbent tree uh, on my Warlock package opening, so maybe I'll do a little comparison of these two this week and uh, see which one I'm going to go with. Got a hero formula here again with these scout rifles. Bunchy's loving, loving giving me scout rifles this week. Uh, MD Reflex, Range Lens, and Reflex. Uh, Eye of the Storm, Mulligan, Braced Frame, Explosive Rounds, and Third Eye. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to actually go ahead and get rid of that right now. Because uh, that is not a very good roll at all. Moving on, we have the another Matador 64. Let's see here. Um, oh, this is actually another pretty decent roll I got, uh, Matador 64. But it's not my it's not my god roll. So let's see what we have here. Smooth, accurized ballistics, nice and soft ballistics. Uh, spray and play, hammer forge, injection mold, hand laid stock, and final round. So nope, not a very good one. Going to be. Uh, dismantling that one as well and uh, that one is locked and make, you definitely want to make sure you uh, tap the R3 and lock them up you do not want to accidentally uh, dismantle um, anything so spare change wow I have not seen these spare change in a while let's look at the uh, stats on this pulse rifle you got the uh, red dot OES focus lens FLA 5 and quick draw with outlaw speed reload brace frame small bore and Grenadier, so not a very good roll at all, but it is nice to see the spare change. It has been a, uh, it's been a while uh, since I've seen this. It's been a while since I've been killed by it, um, but we're going to go ahead and dismantle that one as well. And the last bounty, ooh, I got two more. I got three more I got to work on this character here. Uh, the last bounty here, we got the Branded Lord. Can it be anything good? Let's see. Fusion Rifle again with Linear Compensator. Accurized Ballistics and Field Choke with Rifled Barrel, not too bad. Snapshot, again, pretty nice. Unflinching and Eye of the Storm. So Eye of the Storm is actually pretty good for a Fusion Rifle considering the charge rate on these. Uh, you typically, uh, on a 1v1, you are getting hit by somebody else. So your health is dramatically decreasing as you're charging this thing up. So that accuracy right there uh, might actually uh, be a benefit to you along with snapshot and rifled barrel so accurized ballistics again uh, doesn't look like too bad of a fusion rifle um, we'll have to uh, we'll have to check it out and see uh, so overall I think I got I got a pretty uh, good set of uh, scout rifles here um, hopefully one of those is gonna give me what I need uh, one more one more Lord Shaxx weapon opening here and something wicked. All right, can we, can we, we got the scout rifle. Can we get the rocket launcher? And it doesn't look like it. I mean, it does have high blast radius again, decent velocity. Uh, let's see, grenadier, danger close, perfect balance, heavy payload, and grenades and horseshoes. So not what I am looking for. Uh, so I'm still on the search for a pretty good rocket launcher. Uh, I don't know, maybe next week we'll get some more bounties done 
and see uh, see what we can get. All right, so I got a few scout rifles that I'm gonna be playing with this week. Um, I did not get a rocket launcher uh, that I was hoping for, uh, but you know what? Another week or two, we'll have another 25 or so bounties to open up, and uh, hopefully, hopefully we can get us something by then. If not, I mean, Iron Banner is this week gonna be doing a lot of Crucible, uh, so you know, never know. We might, we might get something then so again guys i really do appreciate you guys coming in here and checking this out uh we will be live streaming tonight tonight is the countdown to zur uh, i did miss last night's live stream to uh, anybody that was looking forward to that i do apologize uh really really late night at work uh but like i said zur is uh one of my favorite nights to live stream so no matter what time we get off uh we are going to be on so again guys thank you so much and i'll see you guys all in the next live stream